you guys said in my how to find more diamond videos that you wanted to see my hard spots and here is my three best spots on Leighton Lake. This one in particular is extremely good. There's so many moose out here. This spot is insane. I mean, it's Leighton Lake. There's moose everywhere. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I can work with that. But yeah, I actually wanted to, to, <laughs> to show you one of the best spots, in my opinion, for hunting. Pretty much blacktail, moose, and elk. This spot right up here is amazing. And that thing right there is very, very dead now. <laughs> uh, got a little three there. That should be a dead one with the 338 as well. Give me the highlight. That is dead too. I'm gonna go and take those because I kind of want to have uh, the Conchek up just in case <laughs> that is actually gonna be close to a gold or something. I don't think it is, but it's a piebald. Might as well get the correct score on the animal. And the consecutive is now good as well. Let's see if we can get just a quick, nice little screenshot of this guy. It's always nice to get the piebald and other kind of rares. Pretty interesting coloration, this one. But let's just put him for the large immediately. Flesh heart shot. Oh, almost a gold. Almost a gold. Oh, well, he's going to fit nicely with my albino silver moose in the large as well. But this is one of the best spots on the map for a lot of animals. You'll find coyotes, you'll find moose, you'll find blacktails, and uh, there is a ton of elk as well. I don't know if this is the best placement for the tent, but I have some decoys here for ducks. I'd probably put my tent down here somewhere. There's another coyote. But if you place a tent down there, you can spot this entire stretch of land right here, which seems to be the ultimate crossing between that part over here and this part over here. Another amazing place that I can highly recommend is this lake right here. I've got a tent placed down here, which is about 200 meters away from the edge of the lake because animals tend to spook like 150 meters away when you spawn at a tent. So if we spawn here and then just run up towards there, we're gonna have an idea of what is in the area. This area I find particularly good for black tail and white tailed jack rabbits. They tend to be coyotes and even some elk once in a while. And of course we do start off with some ducks. So they are definitely in this lake as well. Usually have like three flocks around. There's some times one over here and then one down north. And we have the rabbits over here somewhere. Running away. <laughs> Just heard the guy out as well. Um, only thing I need to find now is the uh, is the blacktail. But yeah, as I said, this is the animals you're probably gonna find around here. Uh, there is a warning thumb again. I don't even want to go and try to find it. I just want to go around so you get an idea of what you can find here. Blacktails tend to be on the edge over there or on the hill on the back side. And as you see, there is a ton of jackrabbits over there. So if you are looking for the white-tailed jackrabbit, this is a really, really good place to find them. They seem to be pretty much all over the western side of this lake. Can't spot everything, but uh, let's just pray that we're not missing out on any diamonds. And then up here, there is usually black tails, and this time we actually have white tails as well. So they apparently have a drinking zone here in the afternoon. I'm pretty sure it is black tail in the earlier morning. Oh, that's a decent rack on that boy. I think um, that's definitely gonna go and get a bullet. But yeah, I usually go here in the morning and I find a ton of black tails up here instead. I wasn't actually aware that there was a white tail zone right here. Ah, uh, you took a dumb turn right there, not happy with that. I do believe that one right there has to be the biggest one. But yeah, pretty much anything but moose at this lake it seems. Actually, I haven't seen bear here either, now that I think about it. But I have a really, really good spot for bears as well. Just did a quick call, just to get them moving around a little. Just pay attention to that boy right there. As soon as we get the lungs of him, we're just gonna go for it. And just take that. Should go down as well. We can actually take two shots with the Mosin. So, if you have a white tail, you can take two shots with the Mosin. 
or only one shot with the 270 and it's insanely powerful this most in Nagand. Pick up the big boy down here as well. Have a look here. That is a nice white tail. Actually gonna put that in the lodge as well. Everybody knows that this entire river system is really good for animals as well because every animal has the need to drink. But I'm into showing you my favorites. And this is the last of my favorite ones that I always check. There is some that is honorable mentions as well. Down here is really good in the southeastern part of Balmond as well. Tons of animals to find down there. But if I'm looking for bears, I either go to this area over here or I start at this lodge and move up here. And you will nearly always find bears sitting like this, resting around if you come afternoon. If you're here earlier, they're just going to be wandering around, drinking or eating. And they're pretty much at the entire lake or whatever you want to call this area here. So, yeah. Well, we got two right there, right? So, just take one of them quickly. Get hit that. And just pay attention to see if anything else is actually moving around. You'll find a lot of moose in this area and white tails as well. I often see white tails. There we go. They're right there. Is there anything interesting? Does not really look like it. And with this bear, I have shown you my top three favorite hunting spots on Leighton Lake. And I hope you do put your favorite hunting spots on Leighton Lake in the comments down below. If you want to see how I use these actively come join my live streams over on twitch tv slash saggy dk i live stream pretty much every day mostly call of the wild these days join the discord if you want more info about how to track and find the diamonds because we have the diamond calculator and we have the spreadsheet and those are crucial if you want to have more diamonds but use these three spots let me know if you're getting anything good out of them and then come join us on the live streams thank you so very much for watching